Using this template is really easy. Once you open it, you will get this and um, scrolling down the, on the layers palette, you will find these three groups named template one, template two and template three. The only thing that changes on each template is this layer mask. And um, all you need to do if you want to change this photograph is double click on this layer mask. This will open the PSB file and here we'll see a few layers that I, uh, with some photos that I used um, for this template. And all you need to do is create a new layer and paste your photo here and make sure it covers most of this uh, canvas here. I'm going to use the one of the pictures that I have here, for example, this one, and I'm going to press Control S or save. This will save the PSB file and you will have to wait a few seconds for the smart object to update. You can see updating smart objects. Once the smart object is updated, you can close the PSB file. And when you go back to the document, you will see the smart object is updated. Sometimes you have to move this image, so use the move tool. Uh, notice that the smart object and the layer mask is on are not locked, so you can move the image around and place it wherever you want. If you want to change the effect, if you zoom in, you will see that this image have some effects on it. If you want to remove those effects, simply expand this and remove the effects from the smart object. If you want to edit them, double click on the filter gallery, and here you can see the effect that uh, have been applied to, to this image and you can modify them or use your own effects if you want. If you want to make this document smaller, it's a 5000 by 3700 pixel. If you want to make it smaller, you'll also have to uh, change the settings here and reduce the amount of effect because it will not look nice if you remove if you make this document really small. You can also change the background, you can see I have two layers here which you can remove if you want or you can uh, remove just one of them or um, you can also change the colors using the, this hue saturation you can modify the colors of this um, painting effects or you can remove them completely also you can change the background color um, using this hue saturation you can, you can change the tint of it and you can also see that it's just a 16% opacity so you can increase it if you want to and on some depending on the image that you're using you might want to use some of this adjustment layers here for the curves to increase the lightning or reduce it or um, adapt this to your photograph um, there's also dirt texture if you want to remove it you can do so um, the original background has some effects on it as well it's a smart object as you can see here so you can remove the the effects from here. If you don't have Photoshop CC, the filter, the camera raw filter will not work, but you can add noise to the background if you want to, or use this dirt texture that uh, is here on top. And with the color tones, what you can do is change the general tone of the effect, expand this group, and you'll see a few layers here. You can make combinations, activating some of these layers or changing um, these gradient maps, uh, or changing the opacities if you want to have different effects and just play with this adjustment layers and get the effect that you want uh, on the color balance uh, you can change the tint of the whole thing here let me enable it and you can change the tint of the whole of the whole effect here and combine it with the rest of the of the gradients here uh, of the adjustment layer sorry and with the color brightness you can increase the brightness of some colors because this is set to luminosity and um, if you want to have it black and white, simply change it to normal and you can uh, change the tone of the color and uh, change the brightness of the, of the tones and play with the opacity here. And you also have a, this top layer is set to vignette and you can increase the opacity if you want to have a, a stronger vignette effect. Um, this layer mask is softened using the feather feature, so if you're using a lo an older version of Photoshop, this setting might not be available and you probably get something like this. All you need to do is select this layer mask, go to filter, blur and change, uh, add some Gaussian blur to soften the layer mask. If you make the document smaller and you have this amount of 
feather, you might want to reduce this for a better uh, transition effect. So that's how you can customize this um, this uh, template. It's really easy and it's customizable using the smart object so you can uh, create any color um, that you want and use your own photograph.